and low to one and all. In this video, let us see how to create a dynamic title in any Power BI dashboard. Let us launch a Power BI, Power BI desktop and open a sample Power BI report. In my report, I basically have two different data sets. One is the financial data set and the financial data set we have various segment information such as channel partners, enterprise, government, mid market and small business. And I also have various country information such as Canada, France, Germany, Mexico and USA. In addition to that, I have product, discount brand, unit sold, manufacturing price, sales price, gross sales, discounts, sales, profit and so on. We have a standard day table. Thereby, now I have created three different segments. The two slices, one for country and one for segment. And I have also created a table visual for various products with respect to various months such as Jan to December. And I have the sales information over here. So I basically have various sales information for various products from Jan to December. Now let us go ahead and try creating a dynamic title for my countries and segment. Let us create the measure that would accomplish this functionality. Let us name the measure as report title dynamic that would be the name of the measure over here let us create three different variables one variable containing the country information let me input a text value called as country let me also place colon in there let us now concatenate with the country information present in the financials data. In order to capture the financial data, let us use a measure called as, let us use a function called as select value financials over here let us now capture the country information similarly let us create another variable called as segment let us now use a function called as selected value. Now we shall capture the segment information from financial data set. Similarly, let us create a variable called as new line. Over here, let us use a function called as unicare. So unicare is basically a text function that captures the unicode va unicoded value for text function and this will allow us to place one element below the other so that's the reason i am using it here now let us create a variable called as result now let us try concatenating all the three so the first one would be our country that would retrieve us dynamically and concatenate with new line and now concatenate with the segment. Now let us return this resultant variable. There you go. We now have a dynamic measure giving that will give us the title dynamically based on the slicer selection. 
let us drag it over here there you go boom since we have canada selected by default we have canada already in place now if you click on channel partner segment you will get it dynamically based on the selection similarly if you click on enterprise you get enterprise dynamically if you click on government you get government dynamically mid market small business and so on similarly for all the countries so that's it very simple and very straightforward so try practicing it guys this particular functionality comes in very handy especially in the current trend so keep practicing thanks a lot for watching please do like and subscribe to the channel happy analyzing guys so see you in the next video till then take care